Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video on sports television. Um, today we will not be focusing on a AFC teams. Um, that video uh, is just up on my YouTube page and it's about the Ravens. But um, today we're going to shift more back to the draft um, and I'm going to be looking at two lists of Daniel Jeremiah's top 50 list for the draft prospects. He's an NFL media analysis. And then CBS Sports um, list rank of prospects. And I'm only going to do up to uh, 50, the top 50. Um, if you want me to continue past the top 50 and go into the second, third round, or fourth round, fifth round kind of guys, uh, let me know. Leave a like on the video and subscribe. So let's get into the video. Okay, so we got Daniel Jeremiah's top 50 2020 NFL draft prospect rankings. Um, and he updates this periodically based on combine, team interests, and um, changing opinions on players, I guess. So let's get into it. So there we go. Straight off the bat, we got number one. We got Chase Young, who they are saying is better than Burrow, um, which is interesting. Burrow is probably going to be the one pick to the Bengals. Chase Young, number two. Um, that's just the needs. But um, right now we have Young and then Burrow. Then we have Isaiah Simmons, um, stud linebacker, had a really good combine. Then we have Derek Brown. Now, this is interesting. Derek Brown, I didn't project him going. Um, I projected him going seventh overall. He's ranked fourth. Um, Isaiah Simmons was fourth overall, and third was Akuda. And there's Akuda there, ranked fifth. We got Jeff Akuda, cornerback. Um, he's a good player. Um, I think he's the best cornerback in the draft. Um, and the Lions, they need a cornerback, so that's why he's going there. And then we got our second quarterback to Burrow. We got Tua Tagaviola over Justin Herbert, um, who I picked that Herbert was going to go over Tua. Um, I guess we'll see. I, it's up to the Dolphins. Are the Dolphins, Dolphins going to go reliable or are they going to go Tua? I think right now they're leaning towards Tua, but if I were them, I'd select Herbert just because uh, Tua was injured. I think Tua has a brighter future, but I think the safer pick is for Herbert. Um, that's my belief. So we got seven. We got Mikai Becton. He's an offensive tackle out of Louisville. Um, he went down one positioning. This is the, if it goes, if it's green, it goes, he went up, and then that's the number. But he went down one from 3.0. Um, he is a great offensive tackle. I put, um, he, they're ranking him as the top offensive tackle, but I put, um, I, I, I put, uh, Justin Wills first, so who knows. We got eighth, we got Javon Kinlaw, who I didn't project going until number 17 to the Falcons. He's a really good player. People are actually thinking that he may be going, um, he may drop in the draft, which is interesting, even though he's the eighth uh, top prospect here. But it's all about teams' needs and positioning. A lot of teams need a cornerback or a quarterback or a good offensive player. So a defensive tackle, not the team's number one priority until I believe the Falcons will pick him up. Ninth, we got the top wide receiver in the draft. They're saying C.D. Lamb, um, very solid player, um, coming out of Oklahoma. Um, and I think whatever team is going to pick him up is going to be very fortunate. So we got 10. This is my player, Jedrick Wills who went up two spots to the 10th ranking. Um, of course, uh, they were saying Mekhi Becton is the number one offense tackle. I think the Judge of Willis is. That's just an opinion. Um, coming out of Alabama, he was uh, their top-tier right tackle. Um, they say he doesn't have the ideal body type, but um, he has the necessary tools to be a 10-year starter and a pro bowler. Judge of Willis, uh, I think, has a high potential. And we got Jerry Judy, who is the second wide receiver who's a little bit below C.D. Lamb. I think both of these two are similar. Um, I think they're going to be uh, elite players in the NFL, the wide receivers of tomorrow. Um, I think these are good players. So Henry Ruggs, another wide receiver. We got some really good wide receivers going um, in the draft this year. Henry Ruggs, who I predict, predicted was going to the Raiders, um, but we'll see, coming out of Alabama. 13th, we got Tristan Wirths, another offensive tackle. This is the year for the offensive tackles, as you can see. Um, out of Iowa, really good player, powerful, big, strong, everything you need. Okay, 14th, another wide receiver, Justin Jefferson, um, who I predicted will be picked 21st overall to the Eagles. Um, the Eagles desperately need a wide receiver. I think he can fill that void. Um, but I think that uh, if this were a year without Judy, and CD and uh, Henry, the big names, I think Justin Jefferson would have definitely been higher in the draft, and I think he could have been a top 10 player. Um, but he won't this year due to team's needs and three better wide receivers ahead of him. 
15th, Patrick Queen, the linebacker. I have him going 24th to the Saints. Um, he's a very good player. He's a bit undersized, as they said, but he has excellent excellent playmaking ability. Um, I think that it could deter some teams his, that he's undersized um, compared to Kenneth Murray, who is just the right size. But I think Patrick Queen, I think he is better than Kenneth Murray. But um, who knows? It's going to be interesting to see if the Ravens, who also need a linebacker, if Saints patch on Patrick Queen, and it's between Kenneth Murray and Patrick Queen for the Ravens, who they select and who they pick up. I think that would be very interesting, but we have to see that. Um, right now, the draft is scheduled for April 23rd. Hopefully that remains the same, and but in these, but in this day and age, we don't know. Um, but it would be nice to look at something sports-related. Um, but we'll see. 16th, we got our first running back, DeAndre Swift. I have him going 28th. Um, so uh, they're saying he's the 16th. Once again, I don't think every team's need is a star-studded running back in the first round. I think a lot of teams can pick up running backs um, that are unrestricted free agent and turn them into decent players. Um, DeAndre Swift, though, he's the best running back in this class. I agree with this. 17th, another offensive tackle, Andrew Thomas um, out of Georgia. Good player. Um, and we got 18th, Kenneth Murray. So this is between Kenneth Murray, Patrick Queen. Kenneth Murray, I predicted going 28th. Um, I predicted Patrick Queen to be going 24th. I think this is interesting, the debate between Kenneth Murray and Patrick Queen. Um, I could cover in a whole other video. It's uh, which one would you rather prefer if you were the Ravens or the Saints. I think those are the two teams that need a linebacker the most. Um, it's going to be interesting. I, I think it would be interesting if the Raven, if the Saints pass on Patrick Queen and Patrick Queen doesn't get uh, is still on the clock for number 28. I think it would be interesting to see what pick the Ravens do. Uh, I think right now, the, I think the better player is Queen. I think if I were the Ravens, I would go to Queen. But I think that, I think it's close. Because Kenneth Murray, he uh, he has all the uh, potential to be a good player. I think Patrick Queen, though, is a bit more explosive than him. But he is, uh, but Patrick Queen is a little undersized. So I wonder how that plays into it. So 19th. This is someone that I did not put in my first round rank. 19th. Ross Blacklock. Um, I put him early second round in my second round video. Um, I just don't, teams aren't in the need for a defensive tackle that much, so I don't think he's going to be a big priority in the draft. So that's what I think about him. I think he'll be a high second round, or maybe to the Bengals, maybe to another team that's going to pick high in the second round. 20th, Justin Herbert. The man that I said was going fifth overall, 20th best prospect. Um, I think he's definitely on the upswing, although it doesn't show it here. Um, based on his great combine performance and pro day performance. And due to, to his injury, I think it's going to be interesting. Um, Justin Herbert, yeah, people are saying he could fall to the Patriots. Patriots trade up, I don't know. But right now he's ranked 20th. I think he should be a little higher on this list. Okay, 21st, we got C.J. Henderson. Um, I projected him going 20th overall. Um, other drafts I've looked at predicted him going 10th overall. Um, so... I, all teams are in the need for cornerbacks. It seems like a good cornerback. So I think that C.J. Henderson could go maybe in the top 10 or uh, like 12th, that slot, or he could go drop to like 25th. I think he's anywhere in between that range. Hopefully he's he's hoping for a good night and he can get maybe top 10, but I think more realistically he'll be in between 15 and 20, somewhere below that picks. Okay, 22nd, we got Xavier McKinney. I had him going to the Dolphins um, out of Alabama. He went down four spaces, and I think Kenneth Murray went up the four. But um, he has a lot of potential. Alabama, um, great college for football. Um, and he is, I believe he is the top safety in this draft. He is. He is the top safety in this draft, which is interesting. Okay, 23rd, we got Jordan Love. Um, Jordan Love, I believe he's going to be going to the Patriots, although some people think Herbert is. I think Jordan Love's going to go to the Patriots. I think that Jordan Love is a good player. He's being a little overshadowed by Burrow, Tua, and Herbert. But I think Jordan Love's going to go to the Patriots. I think that's going to be a decent addition for them. 24th, I believe this is another one of my early second-round picks. Brandon um, out of Arizona State. Listen, I think that teams aren't in the need for wide receivers. There's so many good wide receivers um, that I just think he'll be uh, overlooked until the second round. Okay. Kalevon Chasson, he is a edge rusher. I predicted him going, um, I believe it was 19th to the Cowboys. Um, he's a good player. I think he's going to be the second edge selected, um, or maybe the third to AJ Apensia, but I think he's going to be the second edge selected. Um, and 
after Chase Young, and I think that he's a really solid player for the Cowboys. Now here, A.J. Pensa um, went down two spots out of Iowa. People were thinking that he could fall to the second round after a core combine, but he's a really good player. Um, he has very high floor as a prospect, and I feel like he and Clavion Chasson are going to go almost back-to-back or within two picks of each other. I'll be interested to see if a team is in the scenario between these two, which one they pick. I think they're going to go with Chasson, though. We'll see. Okay, 27th, another wide receiver, second-round player, as I said, T. Higgins out of Clemson. Like all wide receivers, I'll basically sum it up to this. They're being overshadowed. There's a lot of really good wide receivers in this draft compared to last year when Hollywood Brown, who went to the Ravens, was the first wide receiver picked. This is a bright, booming wide receiver class that's really going to make up um, the NFL for years to come. 28th, Austin Jackson. Now we're getting into my second round players. Offense tackle, good player. A lot of good offense tackles come in the first round, though, so he will not be picked in the first round. Jalen Johnson, cornerback, another good player. I think he has a chance of being picked in the first round, but I think he's going to drop to the second round. Okay, Gross Matos, edge. Since there's only uh, four edges so far, if this by the rank, um, he will definitely go first round. I'm thinking either Seahawks or Titans, somewhere in there. Ravens may even pick him up. Who knows? Um, really solid player. Um, I think he will be a first rounder. Okay, AJ Terrell, another second rounder that I picked. Cornerback, good player. Um... But once again, he's going to drop. Uh, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, running back. Once again, teams, they don't really value a running back. You can pick up a running back for a relatively low price and be effective. So they are picking, if they were going to pick a running back in the first round, it needs to be a game changer. They need to be a Mark Ingram and Adrian Peterson. They can't um, miss. So I think Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, he's going to be a middle second rounder. I think the Ravens could pick him up. They need a running back. I think other teams, though. I think he maybe will be a early to mid second round player which isn't bad okay zach bond linebacker out of wisconsin really good player people are debating between him going in the first round and him going in the second round i think he will drop to the second round but very early in the second round Bengals may swoop him up um, another team very early in the second round will i think will swoop up on um, although i could see him going in the uh, first round particularly late maybe the ravens could pick him up Maybe a team like the Chiefs or the 49ers would want him. But um, I think he's going to be early, very early second rounder. Okay, 34th, we got Marlon Davidson. He's an edge. He's out of Auburn. Good player. Um, but once again, I-, I think he's going to drop. There's so much stars in the first round. He will drop to the second round. Okay, 35th, Jonathan Taylor. I believe this is our second, why, uh, second third running back in this list. Um, I predicted him going first round, actually over Hilaire which is interesting, but I think I think he will be going over Hilaire um, as this is the potential rather than the right now. I think Taylor's a better running back now. I think Hilaire is higher ceiling, but Taylor, solid pick. I, I predicted him going, uh, I believe, 29th or 30th to um, either Chiefs or the 49ers, but I think he's a really good player um, that's a bit overshadowed by the good uh, first-round class. Okay, 36th. Lavishka, wide receiver, another solid player, but really good wide receivers once again. Um, Cesar Ruiz, center out of Michigan. Um, he is extremely consistent. I think he's going to be a solid draft pick. I think he will be in the NFL for a while. Um, it's just hard to see it. I feel like he could be picked first round. I'm thinking he is a middle, uh, middle early um, second round pick. Okay, Grant Delpit, very interesting here, safety. I picked him going 21st overall to the Jaguars. Um, obviously, uh, Mr. Jeremiah does not feel like putting him that high. I think that he will be a first-rounder, um, despite what these rankings say. Joshua Jones, I picked him, um, I believe, either late first round or to the second round. I think that he's a borderline first or second round prospect. Depends on how the cards fall, I think. I think a lot of teams need offense tackles, but it's so star-studded with good wide receivers, edge, quarterbacks, that I feel like he could drop to the second round, or I could see him late, um, mid to late, uh, first first round. Okay, 40th, J.K. Dobbins. I had him going 32nd overall. Um, out of Ohio State, another good running back, but overshadowed by the good class, I think. Okay, our first tight end on the list, Cole Kmit. I have him going late second round, early third round. Teams don't need a tight end that badly um, I feel like he's a really good tight end um, that a team that needs one can get him in late to early third round um, 
Christian Fulton, I had him in the first round. I, I think he's going to go over Cole. I think he's going to go over a lot of these players. So I think he will be first round, if not very early second round. Okay, 43rd, we got Jeremy Chin, linebacker out of Southern Illinois. Not the most prestigious college in the world to go play football. I think he's still a decent prospect, but overshadowed by the really good linebackers, Simmons, Queen, Murray, um, Bond in the draft. So I think he'll fall mid to uh, late second round or early third round. Okay, Justin, the DT out of Texas A&M. I haven't really covered him that much. I think that I picked him late in my second round. I think that's where he'll go. He'll go mid to late in the second round. Okay, we got ranked 45th. We got Denzel Mins, wide receiver out of Baylor. Um, once again, he's going to be overshadowed by the really good wide receiver class in the NFL draft. I feel like he's going to go um, either early or mid-second round. That's where I had him going, so we'll see. 46, we got Jeff Gladney, cornerback out of TCU. I had him going, I believe, 26th overall in my draft. Um, cornerbacks, teams need him a lot. I think he's a really high profile. He has a lot of, a lot of potential, and I think that he will be picked next. Okay, 47th, we got Antoine Winfield Jr., another safety. That's our second safety. He is a very good player, um, but once again, overshadowed by the class. Not a lot of people need safeties. Um, they're kind of low on their needs list. I feel like he is going to be a decent second rounder, um, either mid or early, but it depends on how the cards fall. Okay, 28, Trayvon Diggs, cornerback. Once again, cornerback, but a lot of other good cornerbacks before him, a lot of good players before him. I think he's going to be mid to late second round. Okay, 49, Lloyd Cushenberry. I think that Lloyd Cushenberry has potential. He was he was not ranked um, in the 50, by the way, last one. But I feel like he has the potential to go first round, late first round, or very early second round. I feel like he has the potential where he will go realistically. Not a lot of teams need a center. I think he'll go mid-second round, maybe late second round. But we'll see. Finally, we got Jalen Hurts. Haven't discussed him much on the channel yet. I'm thinking about doing a video maybe next week about... Um, my uh, the quarterbacks in the draft class, um, along with him from and the, all the first rounders that I've already talked about. Jalen Hurts, this is the wild card. Where will Jalen Hurts go? I don't think he's going to go in the first round at all. Second round, I think it's a possibility. I think he is more realistic, a third or fourth rounder. I'm going to go with a third rounder, mid third round. I think he'll be disappointed, but I don't think that um, I don't think the teams are going to take the chance. I don't think a lot of teams need quarterbacks, or they've already gotten that role filled. Or they're waiting until later rounds. Um, we'll see about Jalen Hurts. Um, that's one person I, I can't tell you definitively where I think they'll go. Um, he could drop to the fourth round. I think that he'll go the third round, though, somewhere in between there. He'll be lucky to go in the second round. Um, so this is uh, Jeremiah's list. Um, not bad. I agree with some of them, but some of them he ranked pretty low, especially my first round picks. Um described to his uh, top 50. So I'm going to take a look at another one really quickly here. This is the CBS one, um, 2020 draft. I want to see how this um, compares to his. Um, once again, it has the Chase Young over Joe Burrow, Isaiah Simmons, um, notably. We got a lot of first-rounders down here. We got Jordan Love. Jordan Love over Justin Herbert. Now, this is big. So if CBS feels like this, and I guess... Um, you know, I, I, if the Chargers feel like this, they could pick up Love over Herbert, which I think is interesting. Um, will they do it? No, I think they'll still pick Herbert, but it's definitely an interesting thing to see. Because if they do, that means the Patriots are going to get Herbert, which is very interesting. Um, barring a trade up, if they trade up and get Love, it's not worth it. If the if the Patriots trade up, they want to get Herbert. That's my opinion. Um. So that's a big ranking there. We got Gross Matos, Fulton, Delpit. So Delpit 23rd, while I had him at, um, well, Jeremiah had him at 46, and I had him at 21st, so interesting. Um, got Kenneth Murray up here. Um, got T. Higgins. T. Higgins, pretty high, 26 for a second rounder. Um, Justin Jefferson is below T. Higgins. That is interesting. Patrick Queen who people are saying are a better player than Kenneth Murray, is below Kenneth Murray on this. This is another interesting topic I think I could cover for another video. Kenneth Murray versus Patrick Queen. Um, then Zach Bond, who I think is a decent player. Um, uh, DeAndre Swift, um, 41st, even though I had him in the first round. 
Curtis Weaver, another good player that we didn't see. Another good edge, but once again, there's so many good edges in this class that it's hard to pick one. And Urza Cleveland, who is offensive lineman. And let's follow down. We got J.K. Dobbins, 52nd. When I picked him going 32nd, Cole Kmet, um, Antoine Woodfield Jr., K.J. Hamler going 59th. I picked him in the second round going to the Ravens. Lloyd Cushenberry. Um, Cesar Ruiz, who was there at 32nd, is now 67th. Which is interesting. We got Pittman, a good wide receiver. I could also do another video about wide receivers. Comment below. Um, who else we got? We got Clyde Edwards Hilaire at 80th overall, which is interesting. Um, other video, the other uh, Jeremiah had him at, uh, I believe, 32nd. And to be at 80th, that's a huge difference. Um, we got Donovan Peoples, Donovan Peoples Jones at 88th. We got Lamar Jackson, um, cornerback for Nebraska, not the quarterback, um, 96. That's a name that we haven't seen very often. Um, and then Raekwon Davis um, going to Alabama. So that's where I'll end off. If you want me to cover more of the you know, third round, fourth round, fifth round prospects, um, I will do it. Um, this is my video. I'm just comparing different lists of prospects just to see how other people think. Um, and then... In a video in the future, I may rank my own prospects, not on position, but who I think is the best. I could do a video on the wide receivers of this class, the quarterbacks, Patrick Queen versus Kenneth Murray. Um, and yeah, I have a big announcement that I'm going to save to the end right now. Um, I have chosen to do an upload schedule of Saturday and Wednesday. Um, as you know, I've been uploading daily, almost daily. Um, I think I need to shorten that down um, until we get... Uh, a more following so I don't run out of ideas already but um, I will be probably releasing this video either Friday or Saturday if I release it Friday we're still gonna do the Saturday Wednesday one and I'll release my next video Tuesday or Wednesday um, that's my goal if I I may do a special third video in the week or a fourth one if I feel like it if I have enough time um, but as you know these guys these take time so that's why I would love if you could subscribe like Hit the bell. It really helps me um, make this good content for you all. Um, and thank you for watching sports television.